fire brigade in the French capital now says the main stone structure, including the two famous square towers, has been saved. Italy's largest bank, Unicredit, has agreed to pay $1.3 billion to settle charges that it violated the United States sanctions related to the proliferation of weapons of mass destruction. A statement from the U.S. Treasury said Unicredit processed transactions in apparent violation of U.S. sanctions against six specific countries, including Iran, Cuba, and Syria. And the cellist Yo-Yo Ma has been playing the music of J.S. Bach at the U.S.-Mexico border. A useful performance in Laredo, Texas, to make a statement on immigration. Thank you. Over the last few months, and indeed the last few hours, the story around Volkswagen car giant has been emissions. In the last couple of hours, it's changed to politics. The new head of Volkswagen has told the BBC he is not proud of his company's association with the Chinese government and its detention of thousands of Muslim minority people in the rest of the country. Government officials in China have recently confirmed the existence of what they called re-education camps as part of anti-terror measures. The German car giant opened a manufacturing plant there six years ago. Robin Parent is in Shanghai. Robin, I wonder whether we could start by you just taking us back a little bit and just how much investment does VW have in China? What is the link there? Well, the German car giant has been here since the early 80s. It was a pioneer in terms of uh, investment, and it's done very well here. Um, it has been producing cars since 1984. It's been producing cars in Xinjiang in the West since uh, 2013. Now, look, it's not the only foreign firm with a presence in Xinjiang, but like many uh, others, it is reluctant to talk about it, particularly over the last uh, few years when uh, China has faced uh, accusations about its forceful detention of thousands and thousands of its own people, Muslim Uyghur minorities, as part of counter-terror measures. So I spoke to Herbert Dietz in the last few hours. He's been running VW for uh, just over a year now. He's in charge of its China operations, direct charge, and I started simply by asking him uh, to confirm that the company does have a production facility there. Does VW uh, have a production facility? For sure, for sure. And we are happy to have it. And are you proud to be associated with what China is no, doing? No, but we are proud. World? We are proud. And we are absolutely proud to also create workplaces in that region, which we think is very useful. Robin, there is a, a, a total disconnect there. He's not proud, and yet he is proud to be there. Well, look, you know, uh, there is a fragmented and serious business in China. Values, care for the environment, and the plan that the 